we've uh, we finally made it out to uh, the beginning of uh, of the Colorado desert. Uh, you can see uh, the flat valley uh, behind us out here. Um, this is uh, uh, really exciting. It's really nice. It's, it's like 100 degrees, but there's a nice breeze, so it feels nice. And um, yeah, we're gonna get ready to to start uh, looking for stuff once we sort of settle into our spot. So we just found this little guy. Go ahead. It's a sidewinder. You can tell from the rattle, because it's a type of rattlesnake, and also the horns above the eye. And there's the little rattle. This guy was born this season. He's just a little baby. And hopefully he'll get run over. Warming up. Do you see how flat his yeah. his middle is? them is looking at that pattern on the back of the head. It's sort of an upside down liar there. Now these guys are non-venomous, uh, but this guy was a little scared when I picked him up, and so he kind of gave me a little nip, and so I'm kind of letting him, I'm not going to hold him at the moment, I don't want to get bit again. Um, and now he's finally keeping still for a little bit. Um, I got him out of the road because I didn't want anybody to, to run him over. And of course, in doing so, he decided to thank me with a little kiss. <laughs> Starting night two of our adventure, uh, Tatiana's staying back at the Airbnb for the beginning of the evening. She's going to enjoy the accommodations and, and start dinner. Um, uh, hopefully we'll see some different things today. We're in slightly different habitat to start. We're going to go try to find some water later. Who knows what we'll find? Hopefully a couple new things. Not sure if you can see this here, but inside this bush is a red diamond 
rattlesnake. These are venomous snakes, like all rattlesnake are. So we, we found this, uh, this pond, uh, this nice little, little pond here with hopes of finding uh, some frogs or toads. Um, we'll give it a quick look and see if, if anything's, see if anything's lurking in here. All right. This is a red spotted toad. You can see the little dots on its back, so little tiny red spots. And one of the reasons you can tell it's a toad is because it has these uh, glands right behind the eye. These, um, on this species, they're very round and circular. Oh, you just, oh, you just peed? You just peed all over me. I think so too. Luckily, luckily we are in the desert, uh, but there's a pond nearby, so this guy will be able to rehydrate himself really well. And there he is. Oh, ribbit, ribbit. just found a California tree frog around the same little pond. If you want to move the light off of its, yeah, not be so direct. This little guy we just found. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at him. Here we have it, folks. This little guy. I definitely need to take a picture. Oh, get him, get him. You see on his back legs a little bit of color there. Oh, yeah. Cute little butt, if you ask me. So, Tatiana's got kind of tired. What's going on? Uh, this is a glossy snake. He, uh, or she, uh, was probably born this year because he's so small. Um, I usually find them, they're a couple feet long. Uh, this guy is less than one foot. Um, uh, he seems a little nervous at the moment, so I don't think we're going to handle him very long. Um, but you can identify him um, a lot by the this sort of these sort of elongated round blotches on the back. Um, this sort of stripe that goes across the eye and down behind it. Um, and also they have very big round pupils. Um, so take a close look at him. And, uh, and like I said, he's, he's a little, a little nervous, so I don't want to, I don't want to hold on to him too long. I want him to sort of get back into night um, and do his thing. This is Schechter Natural History. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if there's more content that you'd like to see, anything new or anything different. Thank you so much.